All right. So, uh, yeah, a very good morning to all brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, I'm Ting Kwan. Some of you might have known me. Um, maybe because I occasionally appear in the background um, or through my occasional sharing. Uh, I've actually shared twice in the past six months. Uh, yeah, if you have been following the, the session. Um, so it's year end, and uh, many of us uh, are not in Hualien now. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, we don't have any Sifu uh, with us today. Uh, and our beloved Master Te Huang, Brother Jo, uh, Senior, is with uh, Shangren. Uh, as you know, uh, they are, uh, Shangren is having a, uh, a Sing Jiao, a second, uh, a second Sing Jiao for year, this year end. And then, uh, so Brother Jo, Junior or brother Su Ping is in Africa now. Um, I think he must be very busy. Not sure. I think he's not online also. Anyway, yeah. Um, and next week I won't be here also <laughs> because I will be in the annual teaching camp. Uh, so um, looks like everyone is quite busy. Uh, but in fact, uh, it is not easy for everyone to gather here. I mean, for this session. Uh, even with the help of technology, um, actually, I think uh, the fact that everyone can gather, I mean, everyone from around the world can uh, gather together here is, is pretty amazing to me. Yeah, it takes a lot of uh, effort, a lot of vows, uh, a lot of determination to do this. I mean, for everyone, yeah. So uh, this makes uh, this weekly session all the more precious. So a simple review of the Shun Fa Xiang recording this week. In my point of view, it is uh, pretty much about the view or the insight of the Buddha. I, uh, I picked two verses or stanza from the part of Sutra that uh, was covered this week. So uh, the Buddha said in the Sutra, through the power of wisdom, I know sentient beings' natures and desires. By teaching all Dharma with skillful means, I enable them to become joyful. But not the word that I highlight in yellow, the power of wisdom. And then the next stanza, Sariputra, you should know, with my Buddha eyes, I observe that living beings in the six realms are impoverished and lacking blessings and wisdom. So, uh, this were, these are the two uh, stanzas that I think represent uh, what were taught in the Shin Pao Xiang recording uh, last week, for the past week. Uh. Right. Um, so, I especially highlight the words power of wisdom and uh, Buddha eyes. The part, uh, Power of Wisdom and Buddha Eyes, uh, because to me, uh, this, uh, these two words are the essence of the verses. From here, we learn to see the world, our life, from Buddha's view and perspective, uh, which, in other words, is enlightenment. So, uh, in case some of us here are new or unaware, uh, the verses were from chapter 2 of Lotus Sutra. Uh, the ch uh, chapter 2 reveals the seemingly different uh, teachings from the Buddha are actually part of the skillful means or expedient means employed by all Buddhas in their efforts to guide sentient beings to enlightenment. So uh, chapter 2 are named uh, the skillful means or expedient means. In Chinese, Fang Bian Ping, Di Er Ping Ha. So, uh, to me, the enlightened view is the most important thing. Uh, I dare say it is the most important thing that we gain from the encounter with the Buddha or Shangra. Uh, this is the more important thing rather than uh, obtaining some sort of superpowers or blessings to make fortune or to keep away from misfortune. Because many people, uh, Nowadays, uh, although maybe maybe they, they say they are Buddhist, but um, they 
maybe they make offerings with the Buddha, but actually they usually have the hope that uh, they can get some blessing or protection. Um, and so I, in the past uh, few months, I've been, I've traveled to uh, Cambodia and to Laos and then to Vietnam also. So all these countries are, uh, are the so-called Buddha land. Uh, and what is striking is uh, there are a lot of uh, temples uh, and the temples are very nicely decorated. But um, it's a bit sad to say that uh, from my observation, they are now reduced to the, only the form. In Chinese, we call uh, xiang fa. Uh, there's this uh, zheng fa, after, uh, zheng fa, xiang fa, and mo fa. Uh, in English, I'm not too sure uh, how to translate zheng fa, but uh, it is the time when the Dharma is still uh, very strong and everyone uh, still practice the, the original Dharma or the correct form of Dharma. And then uh, after several hundred years, uh, the Dharma slowly degenerate into or uh, reduced only to the form where, where people um, offer only offer a uh, make offering to the statue and then hope uh, in return they can get some blessings or uh, or protection uh, but what is worse is afterwards then maybe even the form uh, disappear and people only uh, people have maybe have forgotten about the dharma or even the term buddhism and uh, actually uh, master has constantly remind us that uh, the world that the era that we are now in is uh, the era of uh, degeneration, Dharma degeneration, more fast But um, we are very uh, fortunate to have master to uh, to guide us. And uh, actually, where there is vow, where there is uh, the determination, we can actually turn or transform this era of uh, Dharma degeneration into uh, the era of the correct Dharma, Zheng Fa Si Dan. So, actually just now I mentioned uh, a few countries uh, in, in the Indochina, the Cam Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, um, they have this uh, kind of problem, but actually it is quite, it's not only uh, in this, it's not only unique to these few countries, actually it's not only unique to the, to the, uh, Usually we, we will say maybe the Travada uh, tradition. Actually, if you if if we look more carefully in the whole world, um, most of the Buddhism, the so-called Buddhism are not uh, or I'm I, maybe I, I I will say that um, they are still teaching the expedient means. Yeah, so many people are still practicing the expedient means but not uh, truly uh, the true teaching of the Buddha. And, um, okay, so just now I said that uh, the more important thing is the Buddha view and the Buddha perspective. Uh, so with Buddha view and Buddha's per perspective, actually we can see, we can see Dharma in every corner, in every thing and in every activity. This is uh, what we, Learn in city and uh, what Sangren has always been saying. Uh, remember Brother Pascal who shared last week the ambassador of uh, Belgium to Malaysia? Yeah, he has taken refuge in the Triple Gems and officially become Sangren's disciple. So I'm going to share this good news through a video later. Uh, so he did some volunteer work in Master De Zi Pottery Workshop and uh, Shangren knew about this and gave teaching based on uh, his volunteer experience in the workshop. Uh, Master, said, uh, Master said to Brother Pascal, uh, Master hope he can see the ways, the Dharma from all the work, all the work uh, Brother Pascal has done. And Master said that all movement contains Dharma, how things are done, how things are manufactured, uh, there are also Dharma within which can be applied to our daily life. Yeah, this is uh, a story mentioned by uh, Master Zhongyan in one of the Xunfa Xiang recordings. 
I think yesterday, yeah. So uh, I must uh, thank Sister Xiao uh for for her good work. For her. I think I can say it's masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. So about these five hundred blind beggars, uh, they heard of uh, they heard of the Buddha because uh, Buddha could point the way to clearly see their heart. So even though they are uh, blind physically, but they are not blind spiritually. So I think uh, this corresponds to what I mentioned earlier, the enlightenment, the view. Uh, it's the view that is more important and it's the spiritual view, the, the mind, it's rather than, uh, other than how, uh, the physical view or, or the blessing that we can gain from the Buddha. So, uh, I'm not sure if everyone know uh, Brother Xiang Niu, uh, or Brother Christopher Chang Yuan Uh He once mentioned that uh, in his sharing, and he think Nirvana is a refreshed view of the universe. This is uh, quite, a, quite a new statement to me, although it's not very surprising, but I think uh, it's uh, another way of seeing Nirvana. Because usually we think Nirvana uh, is an escape uh, from the from the afflictions that we have is a, a liberation from the afflictions that we have but uh, from brothers christopher's sharing uh, he see it as a refresh view of the universe do you see the difference between uh, these two perspective uh, this one the, the the sharing by brother christopher is actually more uh, more engaged to this world, and it is, uh, I would say it is more positive, <laughs> yeah, because uh, in the more conventional way of uh, looking at nirvana uh, is to liberate, to leave this, it sounds like leaving this world behind, but, uh, but Brother Christopher shared that uh, it's a fresh view of the universe, and this is in fact uh, what Master Zhang Yan has been teaching also. So, uh, although we learn about emptiness, uh, but we also see the wondrous exist existence uh, in the midst of uh, true emptiness. And, and so we, uh, we, we can create a lot of power from this uh, concept of emptiness uh, to help people with the power of compassion, the power of the heart. Okay. Uh, so what I've been sharing uh, maybe sounds like a bit more philosophical, but uh, Master Zhang Yan has, uh, Zhang Yan has uh, turned it into very simple words uh, that can be applied in our life. So uh, the easiest one is, I think everyone uh, are very familiar with this, Suzi's four ingredients spiritual soup. Suzu Gan An San De Contentment, Gratitude, Understanding, Forgiveness. So all this, uh, the, the wisdom behind is still the Buddha's view. Because uh, understand, understanding uh, a lot of things can uh, lead us to a happier life. And we don't have, we can uh, untangle all the bad uh, karmic relation we have with others. So this is for witness. Okay. And then, uh, so I... I just list down a few things that we have learned in Sisi and Buddhism. Oops, I'm sorry for the wrong spelling. All right, so uh, in Sisi, I think, and in Buddhism, we learn to see beyond material things and we see the meaning behind works. Uh, especially this, uh, seeing the meaning behind works, I think is uh, very important for me as well because. Uh, I've been working in city for the past, I think, six to seven years, uh, and at some point of uh, at some point of my career, I I thought it is uh, it's just work without realizing it. Yeah. So to illustrate this, because in uh, just take an example uh, of my work in Tingxia in this about uh, recently I've been. Uh, welcoming a lot of uh, teams, a lot of volunteers from different, from different countries and uh, 
most of them are from Malaysia. La. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we have so many volunteers in Malaysia, and then uh, yeah, many people like to come back to uh, actually we are very happy about that. But uh, at some point of time, I I thought uh, I just need to uh, welcome them and then uh, send them off. Uh, welcome them, arrange everything, and then send another team off. And then I forgot that uh, there are actually more important thing behind this. Uh, actually, for example, uh, this brother Pascal, yeah, he came, and then I I just arrange, uh, I just make some arrangement and then uh, prepare to send him off. But then uh, Sister Lisa, uh, the the one who accompanied brother Pascal, she uh, reminded me that actually. Uh, I can help to leave some footprint for him, some footage, some video footage or some news for him. So uh, it's, it was then that I start to think about, uh, about finding the, why he want to come to a boat. Yeah. And, then, uh, and from there, I learned about his work in Malaysia, uh, his story in Malaysia, how he uh, encountered city and what he has done and then uh, what he has done actually amazed me for example uh, her uh, his wife yeah his wife actually uh, invite many uh, many representatives from different embassies in uh, Kuala Lumpur and then uh, they went to visit Jing Sihua and I think this is uh, quite a fit or an amazing thing to me because um, we, we seldom think about uh, inviting all the representatives from the embassies to, to visit us. Yeah. So uh, we can see uh, when they are very, when they recognize what Tzidi uh, does, uh, they can use their own way to, uh, to help, to volunteer also. Okay. And in Tzidi, we also see uh, the story of everything, uh, the cost, the story meaning the cause and condition. And then we see the purpose of life. Or oh, maybe some people will argue that uh, there are no real purpose of life. But um, well, we, let us look at a different way. I do believe that everyone have something that really matters in their life. So uh, in, in Suji, we learn about this uh, seeing, seeing beyond uh, our daily life or our enjoyment and we can see what really matters in our life. And then uh, we see the Buddha nature in everyone. And this, in fact, is the Buddha nature in everyone is the most important uh, teaching in Lakshmi Sutra. But uh, I was enough with many things. And I, I believe uh, this list can go on and on. Uh, we, I think we learn, in Suti, we learn too many things, yeah? especially seeing things in a different light. So, uh, and enough with uh, the theory, but the most important thing is uh, putting all this theory into action. So um, recently, we have pure practitioners uh, uh, joining this COP25 in Spain. But uh, what happened is, not surprisingly, <laughs> everyone is still disappointed. Okay, everyone is still disappointed because um, there are so many representatives from uh, delegates from different countries, but um, not everyone can see eye to eye because uh, not everyone can, uh, have the clarity or the view, the enlightened view to see what really matters to this world. And so uh, the result is there's no, no solid result from this conference. Uh, yeah, and this has happened for the past few uh, conferences as well. So Master uh, still uh, asked us to uh, put our practice in, uh, put our, to put into practice the environmental protection in our daily life and we still continue as Wu Chang. Even though uh, there's protests about environmental protection uh, around the world, but the most concrete thing is uh, to put things in, into action. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, this is pretty much my sharing. Uh, in conclusion, is, uh, is the Buddha's view or 
yeah, Tsinghua Renxin uh, is the most important task that uh, we city people have to do in this uh, work. And uh, one of the best thing we can do is to share the Buddha's view to everyone. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot for hearing. Uh, over to you, uh, Sister Lily, is it? Or? Yeah. Oh, I am Brother Tsinghua for oh, such wonderful sharing. Okay, today we have a uh, sharing by Sister Patricia uh, at Tinsu Hall Kapong. Over to you, Brother Boon Hock, please help her. Good morning. Good morning to Sifu, Master, and Brother and Sister. First of all, I want to thank Sister Su Ching, Sister Wan Ching, and Brother uh, Boon Hong to let me have a sharing for my previous journey for my commissioning today. My name is Patricia Lau. My father is Ming Shen. Ming is clear. Sun is plus, the Quan is Sun Quan. They mean the judge. So if you are a judge, you must have your mind, clear mind, be mindful and be wisdom. That means so for one need to be have a clear mind, be mindful and cultivate my wisdom. Thank you, Sufu, and can earn. For the Faham. Um, for my affinity with Sunji, in the year of 2015, I watched my daughter perform uh, an amazing performance, amazing performance by Sunji, the structural adaptions, structural adaptation of Dharma as what the Sri Chan. It was so amazing by me on how Dharma can be shared to such a performance and time go. I follow my daughter to Ching Si Hall and I was waiting for her in the Gen C Cafe. And then a book of master caught my eye. Then I follow her to volunteer in PCPC, Talent Child Boarding Class. That's on. I continue my affinity and keep me going follow master and I have to be for Buddhism and for all sentient beings. I have been a uh, been volunteer. I have been uh, volunteering in the various various uh, various uh, activities. Uh, I have one sorry I come again I have been volunteer in various areas where my opportunity allowed examples uh, to education, PCPC, parent child boarding school, uh, parent child boarding class, CBI, refugee home visits by English Hope and UNHCR, community home visit, uh, yeah, primary home visit, recycling, uh, recycle, uh, chance for cleaning food chain and I'm most actively in the recycling. I currently one of the uh, PIC in Kota Tamansara recycling point and I'm also one of the Seljujang for my community home care residents. Um, before I uh, resident, I will have to continue actively in my recycling and hope to share and motivate motivate more to help us not just serving our mother earth but also to give a better future for our next coming generations recycling too is a part of dharma where teaches us to be mindful and aware of our surrounding and reminding us every decision we make to make a difference and we need to live simple and wait wisdom. Oh, uh, so before I joined, before I joined in uh, to Turkey, I, uh, like most parents, also maybe I'm a single parent, I'm a very fierce and hot tempered person. I too often speak very loudly, angry, and without impatience. And I will interfere into conversations. Most often, who is one way listening for me. But now I realize I can, 
But now I realize I can listen to my children's opinion and there is a better communication from us, for me. And I feel very comfortable to talk to my family and there is no more screaming, yelling, all the noises at home and uh, uh, no arguments and the atmosphere is better and uncomfortable. And uh, this is all because all the influence from the Ziji, Ziji brother and sister and from master teachings. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, first of all, before I joined in to Ziji, I was so offended and no courage to come in to be a Ziji commissioner. I took the Ziji volunteer because I saw all the commissioner wearing their uniform. They are so grateful, so grateful, so elegant, and so knowledgeable. And I am just an old lady reaching 70 years old. My energy is limited. How can I contribute my little energy to help others? And can I be accepted by Ziji? That is my doubt and stopping me to come in for some time. But then as I have mentioned before, I got a book. I got a book I read, Master. And she, she did it so greatly to help the world and help the people. It's so moved by her, her movement, her good deed, what she did for the world and environment. That's why I give me encouraged to come into Chiji. My first, my first step and the moment I step into Jing Si Hall, I saw all the commissioner with a very sincere, comfortable and honest smile to me. She seemed like so welcome and so comfortable to be volunteer in Chiji that day. And their smile is so sincere and so comfortable. And I understand, I realize now, Ziji is no better for age, educations and races. And Ziji will help us to build up our courage and our confidence. You know, I, since I joined into Ziji, I have improved a lot. I have a better family, Fine, together, comfortable communication, and I can save my money too. All the times my children are giving all the allowance, money allowance, I overspend. I sometimes I have to withdraw my money, pocket money, to contribute to my family. But now, after joining Suji, after doing the recycling, I understand. I don't waste my my unnecessary item to buy unnecessary item and uh, waste my food and just bought enough for my family for the food and those things can be reused i reuse from there on i have serving for myself and i also thanks master to accept me as a volunteer i can contribute my little bit of energy to the society, not only my family. I served my family last time all the time, but now I can help the world, help the Mother Earth to be better environment and help the person who needed to be helped in charity. I'm very happy and that make me very young. That and happy, happy make you young and lovely. And the family is, is better and have improvement. And I have, a, from now, I have a bit of serving for myself because I try to cut down all the extra expenses. Um, yeah, I would like, I, yeah, I would like to thank someone in my heart very deeply is my daughter, Alicia. She's, I, I, I'm very grateful and thankful to my daughter, Alicia, who has been 
who has been supporting me all the way, not just only Titan and morally, but not only throughout my professions, and of course, she's financially fully supporting me. She's, she's by, she even pay my trip to Thailand for my commissioning, and every items I needed to buy, she bought it for me. And she pay every single cent. I no need to pay anything. Besides of that, she spent me and she's supporting me and financial giving me. Even she got me a new car. That a new car for me to convenient to attend classes, attend activities, and my sui bus in the morning. And for something, I have to drive down to sui bus to attend. And the road is so dark and so lonely. I'm the only car on the street. But then master give me courage. I want to listen the Dharma from master. So I have to get up early and drive alone in the street to attend Sri Fasyam. The road is so quiet. I'm the only car on the road and dark and a long distance. I pay the toll and KV. I'm staying for the Dhamma Sara and try to Kalanchaya and to attend the Sri Fasyam. I, but thanks for to my daughter give me a car so I can drive to it and listen to master talk. Because I'm I'm old age, my I have problem. I cannot read so many Dharma books. I got paid. That's why I have to attend talk to improve myself and cultivate myself for more wisdom and understand Dharma. Thank you, daughter. That is my you have given me a very, very precious gift. That is, you need me to be a city commissioner. I really love you. And, and you even, because I'm a grandmother, I have to take care of my grandchildren. No time to go to attend classes. They come forward and say to me, Mom, you can attend the classes. I can take care of the grandchildren for you. I'm very touched by her words. Thanks, thanks, daughter. You are so precious to me, and I love you very, very much. Thank you. I'm here. I would like to take up this opportunity to thank Master. In Huale, in Huale, I come to introduce my daughter to you. She's Alisa, my daughter. She's my daughter. Without her, I couldn't be a city commissioner and I don't have the, 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 the place to contribute my energy to do, to serve the world and serve the people. I'm so grateful with her. My dear daughter, I'm very thankful to you for your helping me and guiding me to be to be commissioner. This is very, very precious gift you have given to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. And for my future life, I'll be better because with civil guidance and teaching to live, we do live so happy and so correct way. Thank you, Master Chinya. Thank you. And I hear. I like to thank Suti a lot of things because of Suti, I have a better life, a happy life, and I have improved my characters, my tempers, my saving. Also, I have start saving. No need to spend so much money now. And in Hualien, during the commissioning, Sufu is sick, and she's having a complicated treatments and pain. And yes, she insists to put on the name tag for all of us. And she's so, I'm so moved and so touched by her work. And she was standing during commission and she was standing there upright, her upper body so straight, so graceful, so elegant, so powerful and so happy. I take this opportunity to go forward and talk to her. Sifu, woman woman to Aini. She replied with soft, Big voice, intelligent. Ching ching so much, many say. I'm so touched and moved by her look. So strongly standing up right and presenting the name tag for us. 
performed name that for a deity. And the greater moment in Hawaii is my daughter. This greater moment that she had picked the flower onto me. Thank you. She followed me to all the way to Hawaii to my for my commission I need. Thank you, daughter, and thank you, Tsuti, to let me join your family as a family. And all the sister brothers are so care. They have care. Oh, one more thing is Jabu. It's a Jabu that I have to finish. You know, I'm 70 years old. Well, to reach 70 years old, I have stopped studying for a long, long time. I didn't have time to read books because I'm a single parent for my children. I have to work and take care of them. I have no time to read books. I have no time to write any essay. And so for 40 years, then now I took a jabu. I got my headache, my problem. What I'm going to do with my jabu? I think I cannot be a commissioner. Commissioner, this is not easy. This is very tough for me. I lost my recovery. I do not spell the word. I have really given to all my teachers. So I have to take a dictionary to check every word I want to write. And fortunately, I have my daughter beside me, supporting me and guiding. And with my good mentor, Sister Michelle, who guide me to all the way to success and finish my table. Thank you, my mentor, Sister Michelle. Thank you very much. That's why I can finish my job in time. Thank you. Thank you all of you. Thank you all the brother and sister, especially master, has such a great love and have laid down a good, beautiful part of Dharma for us to follow. I want to be your hand, to be your, to be your hand, to be your mind, and to be your eye. The IV love you very much. Thank you. Be strong. Be strong, Master. We love you always. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, brother and sister, all to have. Thank you. And sister Patricia for very heartfelt sharing. Um, we heard this uh, during the uh, English group new commissioner um, sharing. It was very heartfelt. This is very powerful. There are a few very good messages uh, personally that I, the day I also did today, I still cannot myself. One is about the daughter, sister Alicia, best gift to the mother. We understand that as children, um, the, it is our responsibility to uh, give our parents the monetary aid or food, but those are the basic, the first level. That is our responsibility. The next one is we ourselves take good care of our body and uh, be do good deeds, be volunteers. That is another a better offering, but the best is the offering of wisdom life. That is Dharma, which is what Sister Alicia has given to the mother. So I'm sure everyone has uh, their own parents and siblings, and we really hope to emulate Sister Alicia here to be able to offer the best offering to our parents. Okay, over to Brother Ting Kwan. Okay, well, thank you to Sister Patricia. Um, her daughter is Sister Alicia, is it? Um, I think I know her, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, that's a very uh, touching story. But um, actually, I think apart from apart from the gift from the daughter, uh, I think one important thing is the vow from Sister Patricia. Yeah, when I think she. She did have a strong, and she does have a strong vow. Uh, so, with this strong vow, uh, the condition, uh, the conditions around will accumulate together and uh, and let her uh, complete what she would like to uh, do. Yeah. So, um, but of course, uh, the in city we are, we are one Dharma family and we do help each other. And uh, this is what uh, is very touching about uh, the Tsuti family also, yeah. Um, okay. uh, maybe just want to add one more point. Uh, this now regarding Sister Patricia sharing. Uh, I think from her sharing, we can also see uh, how, how uh, Master have 
transform our view. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, because uh, we see beyond the enjoyment, so uh, we we reduce our spending and then uh, we we know how to use the recyclable items and we, we are able to see the beauty uh, behind what we thought is uh, rubbish. Yeah. And then another another view that uh, master change for us is the view regarding old age. Uh, so Sister Patricia shared that uh, she thought she thought uh, she in her old age uh, there is many things that he, she cannot do. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I think this uh, she shared this just now, right? Yeah. So, uh, but um, master teaching is that uh, we can we can continue learning till old age uh, until the last until our last breath, our last moment. So uh, even like master, uh, she's in her uh, very senior age now, but uh, master is still uh, would like to meet everyone. Yeah would like to uh, master still carry on uh, her mission, uh, the mission of uh, working for Buddhism and for sentient beings. So uh, we are very grateful to have uh, Master uh, Zheng Yan Sang Ren to uh, guide us in this path of Bodhisattva. Uh, in seeing this world in a different light so that uh, we have a lasting happiness in our life and finding a true meaning in our life. Yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much uh, our sharing today. Yeah, Sister Xiaoqing, you have anything to add on? Maybe we share this live wisdom video. It's a twelve yes. minutes one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Very a lot of important messages in this uh, video. Okay. Sure, sure. Nice one, uh, video live. <laughs> 不是呢那种修行的过程生命这生生世世长时间叫做解转世成智
，是佛法要在人间，一定呢要有传法人，传法人呐、啊、是要靠四众，出家二众，在家二众，四众弟子。来传法，常一句话说：“在家菩萨智慧长。”因为在家菩萨在人群社会中接触的是多样化，生命的价值就是要计算你。真正的值得留下来，叫做生命大数据。实际现在，我现在最紧要去做的，就是实际大数据。莫忘那一年，莫忘那一人，莫忘那一面。我期待各位菩萨。走入此际，有的是进进退退，人生无常，也许一念懈怠了，退转了，再也没有机会，因为无常，生命，人间，所以我们要珍惜。为什么会退转呢？因为你没有投入。真有投入的人，绝对是退不了。他已经呢，发现到了生命的价值。生命无常，慧命永恒。慧命呢？会让我们呢，这样的因缘是真正的，生生世世的好缘。一不小心，一迷失了，同样的缘呐、啊，会带来了你生的对立的恶缘。所以呢，我们要好好的把握。环保很重要，看来呢，大家享受很容易，所一丢就造成了祸延子孙。因为呢，同样在这一片天，在这一片地，气候变迁，人力不能胜天，只有一内心。可以呢，呵护大地，一念心呢，可以累积善缘，让烈气转成了和气。唯有人的一生无量，这都是很重要。从此一定。可以生无量啊！那我们的力量，一个再传一个，见人说此际，而且呢，空间次次可说此际，人人要行菩萨道，菩萨道。唯有菩萨道，才能呢化悲气为祥和。期待大家要好好的，真正要有这一份的和气。那诚正信实为大地，诚正信实为大地。那还要呢？慈悲喜舍，为和空；还要智慧妙华，为净水，要清净的水。那还要
殷勤精进，为阳光。我们呢、啊，地水火、风呐、啊，都要很调和，我们才能人间平安。这都是在一念间，一念菩萨心。才能调和，让人间平安。了解哈、哦，了解是啊。我们花心立业，要一业净土到人间。这一片的贵族，很污浊的，我们要把它转过来，成为人间净土。做得到吗？做得到。一切唯心造，记得人人有华脉传承的承担，还要呢，度善种子在慈济的众人里。所以，尽施华脉，祈求慈济众人人前。要懈怠，殷勤精进，祝福大家，福慧两足尊，是要有福有慧，步步前进，要走出来的人间路。Okay, can end. Okay, very wonderful sharing. Right, we will share the video. Actually, the first front three minutes also very a lot of important message. But due to time, ah,、uh, did we hear the four statements? Actually, not only the two statements are、uh, for next year's slogan. There are four. Okay, we will share the video later. Can end. Can end to brother Jing Guan. Can end sister Patricia. Can end um to all the brothers and sisters for this ah、uh, for your presence ah.、Uh. Can end everyone. Thank you for all the heartfelt sharing, uh, Prince Inquan Sister Patricia. Hope that each of us could sustain the Dharma joy and take in another piece of Dharma Master and highly love to our life. Let us please make three bows to the Buddha and Dharma Master as we depart to apply these teachings in our daily life. Let us pay our respects to our teachers of life, universal truth. Bow together. First bow. Second bow. Third bow. Kaen, kaen everyone for your presence. Ah,、uh, see everyone next Saturday. Kaen, kaen.